Hey, what's going on guys? Today in this video, we will answer a popular question. Is coding required for DevOps or cloud engineers? But before we answer it, let's first understand what each role does. What does a DevOps engineer do? DevOps engineers work on the infrastructure to make teams in software development as efficient as possible. And they use their expertise to automate as many processes as they can in software development. This ranges from applying code changes, testing, building the application, and to deployment. They perform maintenance on the infrastructure and make sure that it's operational and able to scale and handle teams of any size. What does a cloud engineer do? Cloud engineers are similar to DevOps engineers. The difference that stands out is that cloud engineers manage and work on cloud platforms. They work on general management or the architecture of infrastructures in the cloud, as well as its maintenance. Their expertise comes from how well versed they are in matching different solutions and technologies from the cloud platform. Like DevOps engineers, cloud engineers can implement DevOps practice into their design of the cloud architecture. How does coding help? In the age of information technology, coding is an essential skill, even for those that are not in a technical field. Jobs that require the use of computers can benefit from coding, making the repetitive tasks much easier. Here are five ways coding can help you as a DevOps or cloud engineer. 1. DevOps tools and technologies. DevOps requires knowledge of a lot of different tools and technologies. The majority of these tools are written in either Python or Go programming language. While you may not look at the source code for these tools, it helps in gaining understanding of how it works. Since most of these tools are open source, you can modify and make it fit better with your specific requirements. 2. Understanding the software development lifecycle. DevOps is all about producing quality software at a fast rate. So knowing the software development lifecycle can help you in building a better infrastructure. You are able to come up with better solutions and make it easier for developers. 3. Knowledge of building and packaging the software. Some programming languages come with its own package managers for compiling the software. Package managers are often used in the build process of the application in the infrastructure. Knowledge in the programming language and how the software is built can help in fixing errors in case the build process fails. 4. Building your own applications. So far, we've only talked about coding in scripts. Coding can allow you to build applications that can make your life easier as a DevOps or cloud engineer. These applications can be for monitoring purposes for your infrastructure's performance. The great thing about building applications yourself is that you can add as many features as you want. It's also cost effective since you don't have to pay for the cost of third party services. You can also build these applications for different teams in the organization, improving productivity. 5. Automations You could probably tell from both roles that automation plays a big part on their day-to-day -day tasks. Scripts For Linux operating systems, there is what you call a Unix shell, or sometimes simply referred to as a shell. It is a programming language on its own, like having variables and structures. And a shell script is basically a file where it contains commands being run one after the other. The most straightforward automation is a script running in an interval or triggered from an event. Sometimes the tasks are too complex that a shell script would be limited. One alternative is to use robust programming languages in scripting like Python or Go. This allows you to write capable scripts for complex tasks. CI CD CI-CD stands for Continuous Integration and Continuous Delivery, and these tools help in automating the infrastructure. When a developer makes changes, CI-CD allows the software to be tested, built, and deployed to the end users. Setting up CI-CD tools requires the use of configuration or manifest files, and these files code like instructions on how the infrastructure should work. Cloud most cloud platforms offer serverless computing services and allows you to run code without needing to buy and set up a server to run it. These code can be an application itself or it can be a script to manage the infrastructure. Various tasks. Of course, you can use coding for helping in various tasks that you do on a computer. Provide scripts or applications that improves productivity of different teams. Which programming language to learn? Now that we understand how coding can help us, the next question is, which programming language is the best one to learn? 
The answer to this question can be subjective, as it depends on what ecosystem of technologies your company is using. Here we're going to focus on two general purpose programming languages that can be used with the majority of the popular operating systems out there. The first one is Python. Python is a general purpose programming language. The syntax of Python is simple and easy to read, making it easy to learn. It is the recommended programming language to learn, especially for those who are new to coding. You can do so much with Python, from scripting and web applications, up to advanced use cases, such as machine learning and data analysis. What's great about learning Python is that the Python Institute offers different levels of certifications that you can add to your credentials. You have the PCEP, or the Certified Entry Level Python Programmer, being the entry-level certificate, it is perfect for those who are just starting out. This certification ensures that you have knowledge in the basics of Python, such as data structures, syntax, and semantics. Then you have the PCAP, or the Certified Associate in Python Programming. This is the second level of Python certification. This ensures you have knowledge in more advanced concepts in Python, such as object-oriented programming and debugging. And then lastly is the PCPP, or the Certified Professional in Python Programming. There are levels 1 and 2 for this certificate, and this is geared towards having expert knowledge in Python. Obtaining all the PCPP certificates makes you a certified expert in Python. For DevOps or Cloud Engineers, I recommend getting at least the PCAP, as the knowledge you gain from this certification can certainly help you level up your skills in coding. CodeCloud has courses that can help you both obtain the PCEP course here and the PCAP course here. The second programming language is Go programming language. The Go programming language is an open source language supported by Google. What the Go language does best is concurrency. Concurrency is the ability of the programming language to perform multiple tasks in parallel. So if your infrastructure requires thousands of tasks or jobs done in a short amount of time, Go may have the features that you are looking for. So simply put, if you're a DevOps or cloud engineer, it is beneficial to learn Go, as you may come across a feature that can only be done in this programming language. What's also great about Go is that the syntax is simple and easy to learn. As of now, there are no institutions that offer globally recognized certifications for Go. However, it is still a great programming language to learn. If you'd like to get started learning the Go programming language, check out this amazing course from CodeCloud here. So to finally answer the question, is coding required? The answer is no. Even without any coding or programming experience, you can still be a great DevOps or cloud engineer. However, there are certainly benefits in knowing how to code, especially for jobs that focuses so much on automation. So let's change the question a bit. Should you learn how to code? The answer is yes. Remember, it doesn't have to be expert levels of coding skills, just enough to make your work much easier and efficient. Let me tell you about CodeCloud. CodeCloud is an online training platform designed to take your DevOps career to the next level. All courses are equipped with labs straight to your browser. With our learn by doing approach, you can answer questions right after the lecture or perform practical hands-on tasks. Gain access to sandbox environments for popular technologies that matter in the DevOps world today with playgrounds. Need real-world experience? Get ahead with CodeCloud Engineer Pro. Work for a fictional company and work on real DevOps tasks. Gain the confidence you need for your first DevOps job. Get started with DevOps with CodeCloud. So there you have it. Let me know your thoughts on the subject. And I hope this video helped you out. For more videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.